Seriously, I seriously gotta lock in. Like, I have yeah. to lock in. Treadmill sucks, but we got it done. What's up guys? It's November 21st, Tuesday. We actually have two workouts today. I got some bad news. This is going to be my last vlog ever. It's gonna be my last vlog before the race. I'm just gonna kind of detach from social media a little bit leading up to the race, just so I can kind of focus on having fun. This is it guys. This is the last time you'll see me. Anyways, we have a workout today. It's 4.30 in the morning. It's so early that I honestly feel sick to my stomach. I'm gonna do a tempo, five mile tempo. It's dark outside, so I'm going on a treadmill today. I'll bring you guys along. It's not gonna be super cool, so yeah. All right guys, we're here at the gym. We go bossa. I don't even know if you guys can hear me because it's so loud in here. I also uh, feel really embarrassed doing this. I'm like some random guy in the gym at 5 a.m. filming himself sprinting on a treadmill. So if there ends up being no footage of this, it's because I got embarrassed. We got work early this morning, so we got to do what we got to do. Yeah, the workout's just five miles at 5.15 pace. We're within two weeks, so we're just going easy. Treadmill sucks, but we got it done. Five miles, probably 515 average-ish. Felt pretty good for a treadmill run. Like on flat ground, it'd go by quicker. Feel easier mentally, but I mean, we got it done. Yeah, anyways, got another session later this afternoon. That's why I'm not lifting right now. It's a big day today, so I'll lift tomorrow. I'll do a recovery lift tomorrow. Maybe I'll show you guys that. I don't know, who knows? All right, guys, second workout of the day. It's gonna be a real doozy. Not really, it's gonna be seven by K, 60 seconds rest at 315, which is like, I don't know what pace that is. That's probably around marathon pace. Um, sun's getting real low, it's cold out here. Yeah, I'm gonna go warm up. I don't know what else I wanna say about it. I'm gonna go warm up. Just wanna get this done. No, I'm having a good time. All right, just finished the warm up. Switching shoes, we're bringing out the old reliables. These are pretty beat up and done too, but I ordered a new pair of these from a sketchy website. Sketchy, it's StockX. Okay, no sketchy, StockX seems sketchy to me. I don't think they're gonna make it here in time for my race. That's all right though, because my sock and endorphin elites, I like a lot. Those will do just fine, but yeah, these are what I ran my first IM in, so. The motivation to do this one is low today. Um, I'm just like, well, I wish I could have done this earlier in the day, but you know, it is what it is. We're gonna get through it. We're gonna get through it. This is where mental toughness comes in, so. 
You guys, seriously, usually I love to do workouts, but today it's hard to get out there. I just want to be warm, you know? I could have done this one on the treadmill as well, but I don't know what, honestly, I don't know what would be worse. But this is how it is. Sometimes you just got to do it unmotivated, as cheesy as that sounds. It's only seven. Usually I do like 12, so it's like so much less than what seven? I normally do. Oh, that's not even that bad. It feels That's bad. like an odd number. Seven's See, gonna go by quick. You're gaslighting me. I'm gonna rip through these. I know it. I'm gonna be glad that I did the workout, but. Okay, snap out of it. Let's lock in. All right. I'm so locked in. Dude. That's so cheesy. All right. Shall we? Let's let's get a go getter out of Oh, wait. Shout out to Say Sky sending me gloves. They saw my last video. I said I didn't have any gloves. And so they sent me, they sent me two pairs actually. These yeah, are like their those performance look nice. pair. Yeah. Like I I'm want like, a pair. Say Sky sent me some too. I'm not putting that in there. We're not beggars. <laughs> Venmo and bio. If you want these, earn them. Harder step is the first step out the door. Into the cold world. Yeah, I seriously gotta lock in. Like I have yeah. to lock in. Okay, finished that one. It was good. That one took a little bit more mental toughness than I anticipated. And some days you just don't want to get out and just do what you gotta do. Kind of felt a little bit more of a chore today, but we got it done. Ended up finishing really good, having a good workout, finishing it the way I was supposed to. So I'm gonna go home, I'm gonna get warm. All right guys, as promised, we are gonna do a little strength training thing. I'm gonna walk you through kind of the strength training I do. This is gonna be really weird. I do feel weird filming myself in the gym. I feel like if I was like buff and strong, people would be like, oh yeah, he's like filming a TikTok or whatever. But I just feel like people are gonna look at me filming in the gym, talking to the camera and being like, bro, what does he have to tell anybody about going to the gym? So I'm just telling you all this now. So like, just in case that there's no like footage, or talking footage or anything like that, then uh, you know why. It's because I'm self-conscious, but let's hit it, I guess. All right, guys, as expected, I'm feeling a little self-conscious talking to the camera out here. So we're just gonna do a little montage of kind of my lifts, and I'll do a little voiceover explaining kind of what I do. But just a quick disclaimer, keep in mind, I'm like a week and a half away from the marathon, so I'm not trying to lift super heavy. I'm a day removed from my workout, so we are just going light recovery lifts, all right. So I didn't get a lot of footage, so this is going to be pretty quick. I promise I'll do a better strength training video in the future. It goes more into depth on what I do and that kind of stuff. But as a runner, I think it's important to lift no matter what your event is. Obviously, the shorter the distance, the more you'll focus on explosiveness and power and all that good stuff. There is a big debate on if runners should lift heavy or not. And a lot of the research is inconclusive. What works best for you and what makes you feel the best. I've been in programs where I lift heavy and others where it's more about maintenance and imbalance correction. And I just think at the end of the day, weightlifting, no matter which type, is a great cross training method that helps prevent injuries and helps you be more of a robust athlete. Typically, I like to lift on my hard days. Some professional runners and some programs will lift on their off days and do more of a recovery blood flow type lift. So what's really important is finding a strength training routine that fits into your running program. All right, guys, the video was supposed to come out a few days ago, but unfortunately I did end up getting sick. I've been dealing with that the past couple of days. Hopefully the worst of it's behind me right now. I'm focusing on just controlling the controllables crushing some fluids, crushing some naps, eating food, and kind of just getting as rested up as possible before uh, my race here in the in a little over a week or so. So yeah, as I said before, this will be my last vlog or any type of media before the race, just cause I am going to unplug, focus on having a good time and just race and kind of do it for myself. Um, so thanks for following along. Thanks for watching and wish me luck.